Hello everybody. Um, like I said in my last video, if you watched it till the very end, then you caught me saying that I was going to put up um, midweek a uh, will I, won't I buy it just because I love to actually watch those videos and I've never had uh, the time uh, to actually do one. So um, I've gone through the trend mood and the other newsletters and I put together this will I won't I buy it. Um, I have my notes here because I want to keep everything really straight and provide as many description names and of course pricing uh, will obviously be in US dollars. So you'll have to do the conversion for my Canadian friends. So we're going to start off with actually the first one here which is uh, how Labs. You all know that as the Lady Gaga makeup line. Um, but this is something really fresh because they have basically just revamped the entire line. They have done whole new packaging and then just decided to launch something that I think now is more in line with what I thought the Lady Gaga makeup line would look like. Uh, so you'll see quite a lot that's in this picture. Um, it's cruelty free, it's vegan, and all of the formulas are safe on your eyes, your lips, your cheeks. They're all sort of like, you know, multi-use. So there, this is the Bio Radiance Gel Powder Highlighter, and the price is $40 US. They are 10 soft focus shades, which I thought were really pretty. Okay, the next one is the High Power Pigment Paints. They retail for $24. There is a total of uh, 20 shades, which is amazing. There's 11 mattes in these paints and nine shimmers. So I'm not really sure, you know, if it's something for me that I would get into, but with the whole sort of wave of kind of really more edgier, more sort of editorial type makeup looks, and certainly things that are more vibrant in color, they've caught my attention. I just, I just don't know exactly, unlike an eyeshadow, I don't know exactly where I would incorporate them, but I like the idea that they're multi-use and that you could use them for a graphic eyeliner or something. But I just love the packaging. I thought it was really fresh. It really just caught my attention. Okay, so the next one is RMS. RMS uh, Redimension Hydra Blushes that they put out. Now these are a powder formula. So, um, you know, take that with a grain of salt because I think we've kind of like, not that we've given up on powder blushes, but in the year of kind of the blush, um, I think really uh, cream is where it's at. Um, and most companies are going with the cream formulas. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say that a dry formula is like what I'm looking for personally, but I like the idea that these, again, they look really nice. They just give a, a really light wash of color. There is a total of four shades. There's Mai Tai, Sangria, Pomegranate, and French Rose, and they're infused with uh, jojoba oil. So, you know, that might be nice, um, you know, just for a nice kind of light sort of sheer look. But again, I'm going to stick with my cream blushes, like those balmy sort of like really light cream blushes. I think those definitely, in my opinion, for the 45 plus they're the way to go for sure. All right, the next one is the Makeup Revolution uh, did a collab uh, with Love Island. So um, I'm familiar with the show, but I've never watched it and I won't be watching it. It's just, um, I've seen the advertisements for it, just not my cup of tea. Um, but anyways, as you can see, they launched a very large collab. Um, it's a large collection. Um, they have, you know, a decent price point. Um, they have some interesting eyeshadow palettes. There's three there that I'll insert the picture. Um, they retail for around $18, I think, US for the larger palette that's in the middle. And I have to say it caught my attention just because of the nice summer and vibrant colors. But just quite honestly, other than price point, there's nothing in this collab that's for me, it's not really relevant. It's not uh, striking a chord with me, Love Island. But hey, you know, you do you. If you are a fan of Love Island, the whole franchise, and you are watching it and you're all in, it's certainly vibrant. It certainly screams summer. Um, 
then, you know, price point wise, pretty good. But otherwise, it doesn't really appeal to me. So for me, I definitely won't be buying it. Okay, and then I'm going to insert this picture, which you've all seen. Most of these ones that I'm going to talk about have been released. And of course, uh, who would I be if I didn't talk about the Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin sun-kissed glow uh, bronzers now these are the cream bronzers they're expensive but they're Charlotte Tilbury they're $55 US there's four shades fair medium tan and deep and they look amazing I just want to run to Sephora and I just want to kind of like you know swatch it and see how it looks on my very very fair skin um, I just love the whole idea of it and any Charlotte Tilbury products that I have tried so far I have loved I will say however um, that while they're fairly large looking um, and they'd have to be for 55 US dollars I'm a little disappointed that there's only four shades because again I don't really think that's terribly inclusive you know people were jumping all over Jaclyn Hill when she launched um, a couple of launches ago you know her cream bronzer and saying you know that there was I think there was three or four shades Jaclyn Hill little fish you know Charlotte Tilbury is like the big you know is the big fish in the ocean so it seems kind of funny that people will be jumping all over sort of indie small brands uh, saying it's not inclusive it's not inclusive and then I don't really hear a lot about Charlotte Tilbury's four shades but neither here nor there if you're a Charlotte Tilbury fan then you're probably going to want to look at it I think the packaging is amazing as always and I'm putting that on my maybe list it's an expensive buy for sure but I just just love cream bronzers um so it's a hard one I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna definitely take a look at them for sure next one I have here is Tarte Cosmetics they launched their first I think it's their first tubing mascara the Tartlet tubing mascara duo and um, love the packaging just love a good tubing mascara um, they are this is said to have a 24-hour wear that is flake proof smudge proof transfer proof it it has nourishing shea butter castor oil to kind of nourish the lashes and then what's really cool about it is the actual brush. The brush itself has 296 bristles. So if you're someone that really hates that kind of clumpy sort of like tarantula leg, uh, you know, mascara look, then 296 bristles on the brush is going to grab your attention because it sure grabbed my attention when I read that. Um, that's quite amazing. So um, that is supposed to be 32 US dollars, so not cheap. But you know, Tarte, uh, every once in a while, they'll throw out some products there and they really surprise me. And they're one of those cosmetic companies, in my opinion, that have just been very, you know, they kind of stay under the radar for the most part because they have kind of like their base core of products. But their products are always good. I've never purchased a Tarte Cosmetics product that I didn't love that wasn't part of my staple core like of dependable makeup products so this one definitely has grabbed my attention because if you've watched my channel at all you know I do not will not buy a waterproof mascara they're so damaging for your lashes and believe me when you're in the 45 and plus older group you don't want to be pulling out those babies they're precious so just um, maybe take a look at two big mascaras because they are amazing at how easy they come off. All right, the next one, ColourPop. I mean, what kind of will I, won't I buy it sort of like, you know, video would this be if I didn't talk at least about one of the multiple uh, releases that ColourPop puts out. Now we know they almost put them out two to three releases per week, um, sometimes daily. There was a number of them in the trend mood feed as I was kind of flicking through. But this one in particular grabbed my attention, so that's why it's in this Will I Won't I Buy video. Um, this is the Getting Fresh uh, launch by ColourPop. Okay, anyways, uh, this is quite beautiful, actually. I do not own a single ColourPop Mega Palette. Um, you know, Mega 
pellets kind of saw their day, but they're kind of slowly making a way back in. Um, and I have to say, I kind of fall for it every time. I just love the idea of unit per price. And I find that these mega palettes can be very overwhelming to somebody that's new in makeup. But if you're just kind of looking for a number of vibrant, pretty summer shades, um, and you want one palette that's gonna do that, uh, and a good price point, these mega palettes speak to me for those reasons. And this one in particular, I thought was really beautiful. And I do really like color pop formulations for the most part. Um, but having said that, this one tended to be like it didn't have it had some nice colors as you can see but it doesn't really have a lot of pinks in there and I like the idea of kind of pinks to balance some of the greens and a little bit less of the browns and this tended to be a very cool but but cool neutral sort of palette so if that's what speaks to you then I would say by all means go for it I'm not going to go for it but I'm going to show you another mega palette that has grabbed my attention and i'm going to insert the picture now this is morphe's brand new this is up till dawn um mega palette that they just launched and it has uh what does it have 35 shades um and you can see it has a really beautiful sort of like choice of pinks and some greens and then you still have some of your staple colors to kind of enhance those looks and again price point um, I think formula wise fairly um, comparable to ColourPop um, and I just thought it was really really pretty so talking for mega palettes like I'm leaning towards more of the Morphe just because we have a, a nicer balance of those pinks with some of those greens. I just think color wise for the color story and what's available, I'm leaning towards definitely going to take a look at the Morphe um, Up Till Dawn palette for sure just because of the balance of pinks. All right, so uh, the next one I'm going to insert is this one that also caught my eye. This is Makeup by Mario. It's the soft sculpt line. So you know there's the kind of two products that he launched. You have the Skin Transformers, which is the Skin Enhancer. And this is, I believe, 30 US dollars. This is a balm cream. And it's, it's just said to like give you that beautiful sort of dewy appearance. And I absolutely love that fresh, dewy look. I mean, there's lots of people that just go for the mattes. But I like to have a little freshness, a little light, a little dewiness in the face. Um, so this is really, really speaking to me. Um, and I don't own a single Makeup by Mario product. And there's been a few out there that I have, you know, kind of high radar. But this one really, really speaks to me. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do because they also have the Skin Perfecting Powder Compact. And that's also beautiful. And the balm one, which is the Skin Enhancer, uh, the Skin Enhancer, is said to be good for all over your face, but you do have to set it with powder. I'm not a big powder setter, but the actual skin perfecter with the basically the three different powders, they look absolutely amazing, you guys. So uh, again, I'm going to have to run to Sephora. It's definitely on the strong maybe list. I'll get one of them, just not sure which one I'm going to purchase. This kind of not surprised me because, you know, MAC Cosmetics, again, it's just kind of like Tarte in a way. They're just always just flying under the radar. They have like some core solid pieces that you can fall back on because you know you love them. But they just release their kind of like their lip kit. And in the lip kit, I just thought for the value, it was really great. So it was on trend mood. I had to include it. It's $49.96 US. 
but you get like one of the Prep and Prime lip balms, which is just excellent. I use it on mine all the time. You get two of the lip liners in Whirl, which is like one of their best selling, um, you know, uh, lip liners and lipsticks, thanks to Kylie, because I think before she even started her makeup line, she was saying like how amazing, you know, that combo was. And then the other liner is in Cork, which I'm not familiar with, but it sounds like it would be a perfectly good lip liner. Then you get, on top of those three things, you get three of their cream sheen lipsticks. You get the one that is the cream uh, cream cup, which is like a kind of a cool tone pink. You get modesty, which is a neutral pink. And then you get cream in your coffee, which is like a brown pink. And modesty and uh, cream in your coffee, I have gone through multiple times for my sort of skin complexion and kind of like, you know, wanting that sort of neutral pink lip, those two lipsticks are like my ride or dies from MAC. So this whole kit that you get all of those six items for $49.96 US really has my attention. So I may very well get that. All right, now Nabla I'm gonna put in, they just came out with this beautiful Radiant Plumping Serum Primer. And I don't know if it's the packaging or the idea that this kind of priming oil will just kind of smooth out texture, also give you slight luminosity with just a slight um, undertone of like a, a, a peach, uh, but it shears right out. Again, that whole idea of kind of like a primer that's going to give me a dewy sort of finish to my skin before I even apply anything really appeals to me. And I believe that it was listed as, as 30 U, uh, euros. So that will be a little pricey, but uh, there's only one place that sells Nabla where I live, and that's the Morphe store. Okay, so Lights, Lacquer, and Care Bears collab together, which I thought was just really, really fresh. They did a total of eight shades. They included in this collection sort of or collab nail art, press-on nails, and three phone cases um, that they didn't have any pictures on. Um, I do my own nails, and so I thought that would just be a really, some of these beautiful, like, you know, the blue and kind of like that lilac purple. They also had that lovely sort of tangerine orange. They had really bright yellow. I mean, they just had so many nice shades. Just thought that would be really, really cool. Like I thought, what a really nice um, and almost like a fitting sort of color-wise with the Care Bears whole idea. So, which was really cool. Uh, it is uh, by Supergoop, a lip balm with SPF 30. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, obviously, because I have lip products on, but I have skin uh, skin damage. I have skin damage, but I have uh, sun damage to my lip, um, but this one in particular. So I found, um, I'm trying to remember who I purchased it from, but it was in Shoppers Drug Mart uh, because my husband and I, we do kayaking and um, Obviously, I got it when I was out on the lake. And anyways, uh, can be it can be hid with lipstick, but lipstick doesn't protect your lips from the sun in the summertime. So I am really excited for this one, and I believe the price was twenty two dollars US. So that is a strong maybe. I just thought these were really good. They kind of initially grabbed my attention, and then uh, you know just kind of like looking at the price point, looking at what. I I have in my collection and then seeing are they something that is going to um, be a benefit for me in the 45 plus group or not um, so that's just kind of where I go with everything anyways you guys this was my first will I won't I buy it I'm not sure who originally started this um, but I often watch the Samantha March ones and um, I mean, there's a whole bunch of people now that do the will I, won't I. Um, so I thought it was kind of fun just to do it and just because it's another opportunity to talk to you guys about makeup. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please don't forget uh, to just, you know, hit that like button if you like the content. And then if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll be kept abreast of when I upload my next videos. You guys, I hope you're all enjoying the weather where you are it's absolutely beautiful here in western canada it's like blue skies perfect temperatures 
I can't wait to see and chat with you all next week. Mm -hmm. Take care, everybody. Bye.